Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and uh, welcome to another live stream. Today, today is November 22nd, 2020. And we're doing a live stream open discussion on investing and personal finance. And we've done a lot of these before. We'll see where the conversation takes us. Uh, sometimes it's lively, sometimes it's nice and chill. Uh, always uh, interesting. Okay. And uh, Elder God, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well, brother. <laughs> and nothing happened and nothing happened today. Is that is that where it was that nothing happened? Fun. While we wait for notifications to go out uh, on Twitch and Discord, let me tell you what this is all about. I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to support this work, if you want to know what this work is about, layered on mathematics, Patreon is a great way to do so. You can follow the work, and if you think the work deserves your support, uh, Supporting this work through Patreon is a fantastic way to make sure we continue doing what it is that we are doing. And as always, I do not put anything behind paywalls. Everything is Creative Commons. Share and share alike. And for those of you who have been supporting this work through Patreon, thank you very much for your support. We are live streaming on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live. C-H-Y-C-H-O-L-I-V-E. If you want to participate in the chat, Twitch is where you want to be at. And for those who have been supporting this work through Twitch, coming to the live stream, subscribing, following, liking, donating bits, and participating in the discussion, as well as the mods, thank you very much for your support. Without your support, we wouldn't be here, really. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor lo vk mines gap and twitter and all the links will be in the description of this video as well we have a discord page and there's a lot of discussion taking place there a lot of people sharing a lot of great information and giving advice and getting into debates good evening twitching jason how are you doing hope you're doing well we'll see where this discussion takes us we'll see where this discussion takes us we will be uploading the audio for this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o as a podcast and this podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and at some point we'll catch up with the thousand plus videos that we've created and start uploading a few hundred of the audio files from those videos especially the asmr content onto soundcloud and we will be uploading this video to both bitshoot and youtube <laughs> definitely on bitshoot and uh, hopefully on youtube i'm pretty sure we'll upload it to youtube as well twitching jason doing well had some pomegranate and yogurt tonight for dessert nice i'm all out of pomegranates man I'm all out of pomegranates. I got to go get some pomegranates. Here's what I got today for snacks. I was packing up some of the crab apples for people. So we had a jar in the fridge. So I got myself some crab apple butter. I'm just snacking on. It's pretty sweet. It's like nice tart. Very unique taste. I got some autumn olives and uh, i cut open half a persimmon or persimmon i'm gonna eat this super delicious very yummy <laughs> i get it to focus look at that look at that goodness look at that goodness All right delicious juicy mine are starting to get a little too ripe they snuck up on me a bit so i need to eat them this week okay cool and don't forget twitching jason you can also make uh 
liqueur with them, right? And the liqueur is amazing, right? Mick9320. Hello, vouch. Looks delicious. I'm sitting back and whiskey and crackers with butter. Nice. Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> Chicho. <laughs> I was going to vouch. Chicho. How are you doing? Jesus. I call my girl. <laughs> my, my in real life friend name. Ha <laughs> ha. Do I remind you of him? Or her? <laughs> Funny. It's good to be regarded as a friend. That's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to take these things down, gang. I'm assuming Twitch and BitChute notifications haven't gone out because it's pretty quiet here right now, which is not bad as well. Shoot, that's a good idea too. I hadn't considered it. I need to get some vodka. Yeah. Or uh, uh, someone mentioned that you can do it with rum as well. And rum is, rum is delicious. I haven't done it with rum. So, um, you know, and they mentioned it has to be clear rum, not like seven or 15 year old dark rum. I actually have a bit of a personal finance question. I like uh, your thoughts on. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Twitching Jason, what's up? Cheryl, how are you doing? Cold train, 6,000, right on. You're awesome. You always want me to make like here. I will start my own soon. <laughs> Why not? If you love something, get other people to love it as well. Share the love. Share the love. Share the love. I'm breaking open some uh, autumn olives for myself to munch on. We're going to be so sad when these are done. We're down to half a bucket now. And then that's it. Then we've got to wait for next year. These autumn olives have been a great snack for this year. Fantastic. Mick, in, speaking of investing, I may just be the luckiest first time share buyer ever. Back in May, I was learning, bought shares in a Chinese company called NIO for something like $3. Today, they're worth $49.25. I hope you've sold some out. I hope, Mick, you've cashed, taken some off the table. It might go higher. I don't know, NIO. But you, when you get 10 time return in less than a year, get out. At least some of it. Right? Well, I haven't yet. I was thinking about taking 30% off. Yeah. Yeah. All right. One of the rules is when you double your money, you take half off. That way, you've taken your capital out and the what's left in there is your initial right you've gone way past that is it an auto company is car company cheryl nio now i want to look at the stock i'm going to look at the stock gang hopefully we won't lose the stream you got me all excited I like data. Let's check this out. I want to look at the stock price. Maybe one one of these uh, streams, what we'll do is uh, start just looking at stock prices and see um, see what the data tells us, right? Oh, <laughs> look at the chart on this. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, yeah, I get out. In 2019, it was a dollar seventy-five, dollar sixty-two. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you need to liquidate a little bit. I don't, I don't know this company, but what's their uh, revenue? Is four point five billion. Net income is negative one point two billion. Diluted earnings per share is negative one dollar. 
net profit margin is negative 26 percent operating income is negative one billion dollars almost cash on hand oh cash on hand is huge 20 billion dollars cash on hand i'm just getting i don't know how accurate this data is cost of revenue is four billion dollars so they're spending 3.94 billion to generate 1.53 billion that's not that good mm -hmm cost of but the revenue has jumped up 150 percent but the cost of revenue has has only jumped up 91 percent so they're getting a positive look from that end so let's check this out looked at the data i like those charts uh yeah it's like a chinese tesla the only reason i even bought it was solely because i thought it was cool haha <laughs> nice you did well mick you did well i just invested in a second pub it's a nice location <laughs> nice <laughs> the best elder god the best they are one of my fun follows um uh, but couldn't could never pull the trigger cool 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 i gotta add this to my follow as well let's follow this let's follow this baby follow now it's on my follow as well check it out check it out twitching jason what did you want to uh talk about if you had something you want to talk about it's nice and quiet here tonight nice yesterday's was serious business haha <laughs> cash and burns tomorrow and i pop back in here crying <laughs> i crashed in first one i doubt it well today is sunday so tomorrow is monday um you know hopefully we don't get a black monday well maybe a black monday is good because this thing is total scam the markets the the stock market um it, it's been laundering money uh for a very long time now and it's just gone into overdrive right uh, but even if it crashes you'll still be in the plus right as long as um, you can pull the trigger right you won't go oh i'll go back up to where it was before and watch it constantly go down and you go oops right but if it's uh if it's a chinese version of tesla i mean look at tesla fast car how are you doing good evening brother chicho been too long since i've been able to catch a stream yeah for sure brother for sure you caught a nice one right now it's sort of chill right now we're we're uh we're going on 4 20 time i guess on uh today's sunday sunday evening nice sunday evening what you guys got for snacks i got all the mallows i got some crab apple butter i'm eating doop, doop. I've been packing up. I, I packed up a lot of the auction stuff uh, today. I still have like three more, four more I have to pack up. But there was a lot. No twitching, Jason. I didn't see your comment. Oh, no. Don't do the super long comments, twitching, Jason. I think it, there's a limit on how big the comment can be. Damn yeah 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 do it in parts brother oh barbecue wings nice fast car i had a nice big burger and fries today we've been eating burgers since we did the cooking stream like three days ago so we've been having burgers every day or two days ago i guess two three days ago three days ago so we've been having big burgers they're very delicious barbecued wings yum poor defender 13 the more i spend time in mindfulness i see that this world belongs to no one and was meant for all yeah the world was meant for all indeed and it belongs to no one we are just passing through right fast car sounds delicious got to love a nice burger got to love a nice burger had burger mayo on both sides avocado pickles pickled cucumbers pickled carrots pickled onions in there we had greens uh cheese and uh soma and then on a sourdough very yummy i think if you keep pressing the up uh key 
it brings back your previous message and you can break it into parts oh really i didn't know that does check it out serious you gotta be kidding me oh it doesn't work for me really the up key what's this oh that's not it i didn't know that i wish baby bear how are you doing twitch and jason basically just trying to figure out if it might be a good idea to buy property in my hometown even though i want to move to another city for a few years um that property is going to need management twitch and jason do you have someone there that can manage it don't uh, i don't recommend buying property uh being leveraged to buy property and then leaving the town and hoping that you got some good tenants that are going to take care of the property unless you know them unless there's family going to check on the property or you're hiring a property management firm to take care of your property um like yeah i wouldn't recommend if you're just going to leave it alone right Uh, I'd be renting in the other city with roommates, keeping costs well within my means. The way I see it, I could earn a bit of rental income and maybe build some equity for a year or two. Or should I just keep the cash for a down payment on hand? Uh, again, it, it really depends. Look, property values are fluctuating a lot. Some places they're going up, some places are coming down. Question is, are you moving out of a place where the prices are on the uptick or on the downtick uh exploit and profit baby bear says become a landlord exploit and profit if you're gonna buy a property somewhere where prices are coming down then you're losing a lot of equity so you're not really building equity you're locking yourself in to losses right and you're gonna have tenants coming in there and if the place if the place where the property values are dropping or collapsing then there's going to be issues low rentals and stuff like this and all the problems associated with that um, if you're buying into a place where the property values are going up then maybe that's a better place to get equity it really depends where you are again you need someone to watch over that property don't just leave right um, not every tenant is a good tenant right i personally i don't know if it, it wouldn't be something i would be i would be doing twitching jason uh, if you want to build equity you can build equity in other things it doesn't have to be property land right i mean the the good thing with land is you can put a small down payment on on property and control a large amount of funds right not that you those are your, that's your money that's how much debt you have but you know five percent down ten percent say ten percent down let's say five fifty thousand dollars you put down you control five hundred thousand dollars right you can't really do that with too many other things so if that five hundred thousand dollars increases 20 percent or 10 percent let's say it goes up to five hundred fifty thousand dollars then you build fifty thousand dollars equity on fifty thousand dollars down payment you double your equity if you sell there's other things involved right but be careful be careful it's crazy times to do huge investments mick oh chicho i think the up key only works per stream so if you type in the chat first enter then press up it should work type in the chat first enter then press up uh, I want to be up here. <laughs> poor, poor, poor defender 13 says i want to become pure energy so i don't know i i'm i'm not in a rush to become pure energy really right now i occupy this matter animating this this material right uh i'll stick around and enjoy the ride for as long as i can at some point i think we all become energy uh what's the rush right Bzz. 
right? Baby bird, nah, nah. You need a corpus to really have fun. Corpus, what's a corpus? I don't know. Twitching Jason agreed. Yeah, this is just an idea I have for the next year or so, depending on how things are looking. Yeah. You're a robot. Woo woo foo. Body. <laughs> what a nice chill stream. <laughs> I like it. Here's my persimmon I plan on eating. I cut half a persimmon. I'm going to be munching on this. Ah, oh, look at this. We got a little. Tick. <laughs> love it, love it, love it. Laugh a lot. This is what happens when you do late night streams. This is what happens when you do late night streams. <laughs> Funny. I'm gonna have some. Here's my. I'm gonna eat some crab apple. I hope you guys got good fruit, good good snacks. Crab apple butter. Mm. Is it gonna focus? I don't think so. I've I've, I've probably explained the idea. I'm twitching, Jason. I probably explained the idea. I have, I have idea. I have too simply. I'm a gava guy. Love gava. Gava is great. Uh, twitching Jason uh, yeah like I know people who've jumped into real estate just you know thinking about it for a week all of a sudden they buy something and it turns out well uh, I've known people that buy real estate and they realize they made a big mistake and they sell it the next day without a loss because they pull out uh, and they've made the right choice the people that i know i know people that buy real estate on a whim and get stuck with it for 15 years they can't dump it twitching jason but thanks for the input i'm on mobile and can't type too much okay twitching jason yeah you can ask a question on discord as well on economics right If you hurt me, if you hold the persimmon too long, the thumbnail might change, and the weirdos of twi of Twitch will come in thinking it's something else. <laughs> and then see a, see a goatee man <laughs> looking looking at him. <laughs> oh, this one you can't eat with the skin. Woo woo. <laughs> Put the first thing in my mouth and remove it. This one you can't eat it with. <laughs> Reboo. Thank, thank you for redeeming the points. Oh, fun. It's 3.50 a.m. here. I'm not snacking. Yeah, no. 3.50 is drinking time, not snacking time. <laughs> There's fuyu and what other kinds. Fuyu, I don't know what Fuyu is. This thing is amazing, gay. If you've never eaten this type of persimmon before, do so. So delicious. Why could it be a mango? <laughs> Maybe. Look at this juiciness. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I knew a guy that rushed through buying property and he spent more fixing the damage to them than he did overall. He managed to make a slight profit reselling them at a higher price, but he was so, so lucky, so, so lucky. I've known people that have done that as well. And that's the kicker, right? I have known people that buy property and they go, oh, you know, they hold on to the property. And, uh, and then after five years, you know, they borrowed like half a million dollars right or get a mortgage for half a million dollars and then in five years seven years the pro you know they sell the property for uh five hundred thirty thousand dollars right so according to their calculations they made thirty thousand dollar profit it went up but they didn't make that 
you have to pay the real estate fees and all this crap and all that jazz taxes fixing up the place and opportunity loss because in that five years they could have invested in something else that went up boom, 10 times five times doubled 50 percent all right real estate is supposed to be a safe place to park your money over a long term right unfortunately our current economic system it needs to convince people that real estate is supposed to be an investment where you make profits and then you can flip it and stuff like this and that's the wrong idea wrong concept i know it's work for landlords and real estate real estate mongols and trumps and all that jazz and it's up to you if you want to go in that direction but i know people that have sacrificed a lot for that including their soul uh, so it's not my game elder god i am drinking lager impossible to get drunk on the, the lager but yeah after you you went from cider to lager cider whew. i'm glad you're not drinking cider anymore tell you the truth elder god that's such a sugar content on that is insane isn't it yeah i've known some people who over leverage themselves and get absolutely burnt in real estate yeah when the bank comes calling wow wow woo woo are you in canada i am woo woo foo yeah he is mick i believe he said he made about six thousand pounds uh but went through four years of incredible amount of stress not where yeah not even close even if he didn't go into f huge stress he made six thousand pounds on a real estate investment over four years Oof. he got burned he didn't even he didn't even cover um uh, inflation right i think energy should be the new currency and automation should be taught in elementary school onward i believe automation should be taught in elementary school onward for sure programming should be taught in elementary school uh as for energy being uh, the new currency i think it's the old currency is energy is everything right there is a cost uh, to acquiring certain types of wealth and that requires a certain amount of energy that you put into your project or your endeavors or your life so our current economic system is based on expen expending energy, right? The government and banks propping up real estate market. Indeed, it is a bubble and a half, and that's what they count on, right? Mm -hmm. It's crazy. I'm drinking Elder God. I'm drinking an Australian lager that Aussies don't touch, really, because it's too strong or too light by the way australians they can drink anyone under the table when it comes to beer give them spirits and they'll just they're the messiest spirit drinkers from my experience anyway uh, they can't handle their spirits but beer phew, forever twitching jason so maybe i should just hang on to the down payment i have and continue adding adding to it while i moved to the new city for a few years and why not twitching jason if you want to buy into real estate you said you're going to move into a place rent a place with friends right so you have low real estate here's an idea i'm not saying do this but one thing you could do is go to the new town buy the real estate there be the landlord while your friends and you live in that house that way you can manage it you, you're on top of your investment you can take care of everything and if you want to stay in that town then you have property if you don't want to stay in that town hopefully the prices have gone up you can flip it move on right you why why is it supposed to be only buying real estate in the town you're in before you move out why not buy real estate in the town you're going to and live there that way you save on your rent and you have you say you have roommates right Cheryl will you smash the cans <laughs> I rip them in half like a beast dollar God says well that would be more entertaining than the commercials uh -huh. 
Miro, how are you doing? Real estate and stock investment are really pushed in social media like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Are they really that profitable? Uh, it depends when you got in, right? Sure, uh, stock market can be extremely profitable. Real estate could be could have been extremely profitable. I personally wouldn't get into real estate. Okay, fry bulb thank you for the follow and thank you for the follow uh subs gang uh, just in case i've missed any that's funny mick i sell electricity back to the power grid with my solar panels they've finally paid paid for themselves over eight years and now i get a little a little 800 to 1200 per year from it awesome awesome mick i can use the energy for the house but it's good to build up for christmas time nice that's good good on you man oh my god my sister's husband is aussie strongbow also killed him <laughs> xmas 2015 <laughs> funny <laughs> i destroyed some australian friends i had with vodka it was funny they didn't realize they were drinking against an armenian <laughs> vocalist how are you doing what's up chicho hope you're doing well Miro. are you a fan of warren buffett no I am not a fan of Warren Buffett. Not at all. We can at Barney's. Chicho, I just love these evening streams. Since I'm on East Coast, uh, they uh, the timing comes perfect for before before bed watch. Awesome. Awesome. We can at Barney's. Or Barney's. Poor Defender 13. Imagine if the whole United States could buy someone else's house and sell their osn at the same time their own their own at the same time wow free assange free assange free assange <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i am thinking of a 15-year plan to move to america uh in 15 years uh, you might have to decide which which zone in the united states you're gonna have <laughs> you want to move to because in 15 years there might be a uh you know the republic might not be the way it looks right now i doubt it i think it will be but there is now a possibility of it splintering i don't want to retire in the uk yeah thank you for the bitch twitching twitching jason twitching jason <laughs> twitching jason yeah buying in the new city has been something i've considered too where i purchase a co-op or something and rent to my roommates I just think that a two-year timeline is a bit short for real estate, isn't it? Especially if I don't think I'll be a permanent move for me. Yeah, there's one thing that says uh, you want to make God laugh. Tell him your plans, right? So you're only planning to move there for two years. What happens if it gets longer, right? What happens if you move there and you don't last six months and you want to move back? So buying real estate before you do a move could be a little dangerous maybe the best thing to do is to do a move and see if you like where you're moving to for at least six months before you decide what to do right and by the way there might hyperinflation might kick in and your you sitting on cash might be worthless right i don't think it's going to happen in six months but there is a possibility that uh, modern monetary theory kicks in into overdrive and they just go let's flood the markets they've already done that with you know four six trillion dollars in this year alone right and that has created a certain amount of inflation so your buying power might decrease if they continue to do this um check out the there's so many so many factors that play twitching jason right now you have to look at the charts what are house prices doing in the place you're in what are house places doing in the place you're going to how stable is the place you're going to is it is it is there are there people moving moving in moving out um what's going on with cash flow what's your cash flow what's going to happen with interest rates uh all of it all of it neo-confederate states neo-confederate states ah baby bear had a few bits thanks for the bits 
Seattle is my personal choice. Uh, Eluga, right now, I think from what I understand, uh, people are getting out of Seattle. So I, I believe house prices have come down in Seattle. In 15 years, I don't think Seattle will go the way of Detroit. Uh, but if it does go the way of Detroit, guess what? You can get you can get a house for real cheap, real cheap. After the 2008 financial scam, right? You could have bought a house in Detroit for as low as a dollar, right? There was a there was a short window there that you could have bought houses for a thousand, four thousand, five thousand dollars. House prices in Detroit collapsed 95% for a few weeks or for a couple of months. They just crashed. Right? They went from a hundred thousand dollars down to five thousand dollars. You could have bought a house in Detroit in 2008, 2009. It was crazy. But then the city would step in and cut because no one was living in a certain area, they would cut electricity and water the taxes went through the roof because they needed a tax revenue right baby is asking elder god why move from uk to us ever ah, uk is not in good shape baby bear uh, smith how are you doing the man the legend poor defender 13 i think i'm i'll just own nothing yeah for me, I own comic books <laughs> and video games. <laughs> Mick, with social media, we've got to be careful with certain investment promotions on there. Sig uh, signal seller scammers uh, with Forex, for example. They're rife all over, all over YouTube, targeting lower viewer creators and pay them small sums of money to promote it. Yeah. Yeah, I've been hit. Uh, people have asked me to promote their their, their things, right? Da, 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 da. I said no. Right. Woo, woo, foo. I have a lot of cash in checking account and I don't know what to do with it because I can't afford a house near my city. Um, woo. -woo. Uh, why? If you have a lot of money in your checking account and if you're interested in certain types of markets, right, it doesn't have to be real estate start playing around educate yourself in that market right if you like electronics buy electronics go to auctions buy electronics and sell electronics to see if you can make a profit if it's a hobby that you like you're investing in your hobby or using your hobby to spend using money to spend more more time on your hobby and also making a profit uh, so real estate is not the only place where you can park your money or play with your money. Detroit would be possible as well. Any city close to the border, any to the Canadian border, yeah. Uh, Detroit house prices have gone up since then. Oh God, I don't know by how how much, but they have gone up. Uh, but nowhere near what they were. I don't think so. I always say the best investment in life is a garden alcohol and books haha <laughs> you need the land to make the garden and seeds and seeds i will have 500,000k to 900,000k i reckon for the move by then okay 15 years that's a long time away from now that's a long time away from now like really and uh, be careful keeping all the funds in cash elder god Right now, I think cash has came to a certain degree. Uh, opportunities might pop up, but over 15 years, you can't have it all in cash if, for 15 years. Um, it won't serve you well. Tuching Jason, there have been a few multi-level marketing pyramid schemes focused in Forex that have popped up recently. There's a lot of scams being pop popping up online, a lot comments buy this buy and, and cryptocurrencies included right we got a barney chicho i got a minor dilemma i want to ask currently i'm back in toronto but in roughly seven months from now i would have to return to my home country for a minimum one month so that i could renew my passport my question is is it worth paying one month's worth of rent in a room 
mate agreement just to be able to keep my stuff safe and secure or should i risk moving out for one month and rent a storage locker only to move back a month later now we kind of want to use the question do you have furniture like is your move to take your stuff into a storage is it going to require movers to come move the stuff to a storage or are you going to need to rent a big space uh for storage right if you're just talking computers clothes uh printer no furniture right uh monitor if you're talking about that you can rent a storage for like a hundred dollars not even right and just put the stuff in there and you can move it yourself or with a friend right you don't need a moving truck because moving truck expensive movers expensive right uh if you need a big space storage expensive if you're not paying too much rent you're gonna come back from a month later and you like where you are and you like your roommate i would pay the rent the other choice is talk to your roommate and you can short term uh, rent out your room if you can find someone that wants to come into your town i know people do, that do this they go away for two weeks or a month and they do short-term rentals they rent out their room or their or their apartment for a month they get the money and when they come back the person is gone you have to be very careful though so that is a that is a choice that is a very is a possible choice i don't it's not something i personally would do on if i really really wasn't cash strapped because for me i wouldn't want anyone living in my space for a month for me to come back but uh, some people are okay with it and the rental was good right i've known someone uh, that are you know a few times they've rented their place out just for a month or two weeks like they get good cash while they're away right Woo -woo. I want a house of my own. That is why I am thinking about it first and foremost. Okay, cool. Woo -woo. Intrepid, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho, how have you been holding up, my friend? Doing good, brother. Doing good. I, the, yesterday's stream, the current events was fast and furious. It was great. Very relaxing after the fact, right? So tonight I'm just... Mm, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, dum -da -dum, da -dum, right? Chicho, chala. Orel Holmes. <laughs> whoa, guy. Whoa, guy. More, more I check this out. I'm going to be investing in back homes, buy stocks. Orella, got to represent. But Barrio, you from Essa. I have, dude, I can't even, I don't understand what you're saying here. So, what I got is you're buying stocks, man i wish i could read that properly but it's not registering for me touching jason is the stream randomly pausing for anyone else my internet is solid right now and i've switched to audio only on mobile and it's just randomly starting to buffer it seems is it i'm still hopping bonds hoping bonds will go back to <laughs> cheryl are you <laughs> but if they go back to four or five percent any bonds that you're in right now are going to be worth way less right that 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 is i believe the way it works right we can't have bar <laughs> bonds for there might be hyperinflation they might try to kick it out we'll see what the great reset does right <laughs> cheryl i'm still laughing at the bonds four or five percent too funny we got a barney's no furniture at all just about six medium boxes worth of room uh clothing and kitchen appliances that costs nothing to rent a little locker like 50 bucks maybe depending on where you live to store it right i don't know how much your rent is but again if you're you like your roommates because if you go away for a month when you come back you need a place right away or are you going to try to find a place before you move like you could look right now and say oh i'm moving in next month just leave for a month and come back right you could do that twitching j said i've noticed recently that the twitch mobile app performs a little worse than just viewing streams on desktop so i suspect that might be me okay 
chicken stock, invest in seeds, seed coin, haha, <laughs> sunflower seeds, haha, <laughs> poppy seeds, cannabis seeds, purchase trap houses and flip birds out the ba <laughs> bando. <laughs> what shrubber rhino? Greetings, blessings, Dr. P. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Good fun. Good fun. <laughs> This is a fun stream. I like it. Investing, one word, blockchain technology. Blockchain technology. The question is which one, how, where, right? I'm with the motto, make safe the city. Make safe the city. Cheryl, I haven't purchased a bond in years. The last I bought was about 3.5%, but was re ref refunded after only a few years. I'm too young for bonds anyway. Good, good. Smith, these days I don't have capital gains. All my gains are on my hips. <laughs> my God. <laughs> dog coin, awesome. That's strawberry rhino. I actually dog coin, when you mentioned dog coin, when I, is it dog coin or dodge coin? It, anyway, there was a dog coin that when I started accepting cryptos as supporting this work, you know, I went Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and all these ones, and I put dog coin in there too. And people are like saying, "Why are you taking dog coins?" I go, "Why not? I believe in uh, decentralizing, right? I'll take any coin you got, <laughs> even dog coins." People were laughing. Punisher Max Live, how are you doing? Hi, Chicho. Do you make your own bookshelf? Yeah, I made this myself. Actually, I made, except for one bookshelf we have with the science fiction fantasy bookshelf, uh, these ones I made myself, yeah. I just go to the hardware store, the lumber place, and I did the measurements and, you know, did the calculations. I knew what I wanted, got the wood, got them to cut it exactly what I wanted, uh, bought, you know, some of the brackets and stuff and just build it up, right? And super easy to take down and just take off the books and take it down right yeah i like building my own bookshelf uh, it fits more books right it's designed to maximize the space yeah next we got a barney chicho i constantly get paranoia when i make use of cannabis from probably all types of strains any recommendations how to combat paranoia um change your setting uh breathe start meditating if you're getting paranoid start meditating stop doing uh things where you're feeling the paranoia right if you're watching a show and you're starting to get paranoid stop watching the show if you're talking with people texting with people or on uh, social media platforms and you're getting paranoid stop that right uh turn on some candles relax right turn on some music gentle music uh the other thing i used to you know i still do tell people uh you know when they say when they use cannabis they, they feel paranoid um i tell them uh, maybe they should right maybe that's the point they should be a little paranoid right aside from that e even me right even every now and then i get <clears throat> the anxiety kicking in if i'm in a, some kind of social setting and stuff like this and i realize that that's something internal that i have to deal with and i try to pinpoint why it is that i'm feeling that anxiety right uh, but i've had a long time to uh, become aware of myself and those those little little intricacies right diversify your bonds oh my god if i put half my money in bonds would this be a uh, good strategy it's about ah, i don't know elder god i personally the uh, i would say no it depends what type of bonds anything related to any city country county government bonds i would not be in because they're going to default corporate bonds a lot of people have gone into corporate bonds because at least the corporation generating money uh i would not be in bonds like really uh, 
I would not be invested long term in anything right now uh, in terms of bonds and stuff like this locked in gonna balance twitching jason thanks for the stream chicho hope you guys have a good chat hope you have a fantastic evening twitching jason i always use wu-tang investments <laughs> uh, yes the setting the setting light some light some candles put on some indian flute music get some crystals dim the lights choose love i i agree with uh, dr p and indian flute music sure you can use some armenian tutak music it's like armenian flute it's wow it's two-tone there's one one flute uh it's called a tutak that keeps a monotone going and the other one plays on top of that it's beautiful it's amazing really meditative very meditative smith to elder god depends which bonds brosnan craig and connery are all good but you're going to catch an l with more funny cheryl's laughing oh my god my day out in nottingham really helped with the stress i i was feeling i am so relaxed tonight. awesome oh my god you cracked me up when you posted i just wanted to announce in our general discord i just want to announce that nothing happened in nottingham today i was laughing for five minutes i couldn't stop laughing but cracked me up cracked me up and for sure those types of things if it goes well man wow it's like it's like going out all night and dancing right you feel so relaxed afterwards Cheryl that was perfect did anyone else hear that <laughs> what was that Cheryl I didn't hear anything oh, snuffy snuffy hey Chicho love your math ASMR I've been playing the grid game every week since you showed it on YouTube awesome thank you being such an inspiration my pleasure thank you for coming out coming over dropping by to send some love lots of love right back and i've been looking at the grid i've been meaning to set up another uh, day of us playing the math grid i think in the next set we're gonna do the 10 by 10 grid uh we see okay we need to do the 10 by 10 grid you got that from babylon 5 the what you said <laughs> i just want to report oh yes that's right oh dude i didn't even connect it elder god that was season four where he goes up to uh the announcer what's her name and says i just want you to say nothing is happening in this sector right oh, that was beautiful oh dude i totally didn't catch it <laughs> awesome you were uh, talking about the flute and there was a tone that went off while you were talking ah awesome awesome good stuff synchronicity we are in sync tonight awesome yeah 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 fantastic that was a seriously gang if you guys haven't seen babylon 5 watch babylon 5 where uh, we're into season five we're we're stuck at season five right now we watched the first episode but we're gonna watch it again because it's been a few weeks since we continued with it but it is fantastic science fiction and it has a lot of economics in it as well okay it's not like star trek where you know everybody everything's free you just need credit and well there's actually money involved and people have to pay rent and buy things or in investments and stuff like this so super cool super cool fantastic series i've been drinking a lot of water because we've been eating a lot of hamburgers right protein you eat lots of protein drink lots of water it's good for you <clears throat> stay hydrated stay hydrated crab apple butter crab apple butter gang the odds are tomorrow i'm going to start off sending sending some of the packages i might wait until tuesday i'm less busy on tuesday uh, so i'll have 
some packages out to the people that won some of the auctions in the next couple of days. Mm -hmm. That's what happened. The first episode in season five on Babylon five, very political. It was like, oh, okay, I got to get into the right mindset. You're way behind, Cheryl. You're watching uh, Babylon five. Two liters of water for 100 grams of uh, meat. Is that the good ratio? I drink a lot of tea, so. But tea dehydrates as well. Very, very slowly. Yeah, <laughs> Cheryl, season one, we went through semi slowly. Not bad. Season three and four we devoured like it was like couldn't wait to watch especially season four, couldn't wait to watch the next episode it was like okay when can we make time to watch an episode it was really good fantastic really uh nice series and thank you to elder god for turning us on to it right babylon 5 is a good place to be so i should try to time it for christmas break uh, season four if you can time it for christmas break uh, i think you will be uh, very pleasantly surprised tea you only get 50 percent of the water because it, it's a di diuretic you piss out the rest right so you only get 50 percent of the water in tea really okay okay i'll keep that in mind we got Barney's to Dr. P. Your recommendation for Indian flute music is by far the best suggestion I've heard. Thank you so much. Awesome. Dr. Uh, Dr. P. P to Barney's. Praise be. All glory to the most high. <laughs> awesome. Now I feel like meditating. We should seriously do a meditation stream, I think. Just set up some candles, set up some stuff, and just chill uh i could play some armenian flute music i don't think we'll get nailed for copyrights uh we might yeah dr p says trust me creatine taught me a lot okay cheryl says yes please dr p says okay gang uh remind me for the next set we'll do it we'll do i'll set i'll set it up here uh light a whole bunch of candles and uh we'll do a chill stream maybe we should start doing those on a regular basis yeah that sounds like a good idea we do i, I need a reminder though sometimes you get lost in the other stuff fully on board with the you you like that too as well barney barney's okay <laughs> that sounds like a plan <laughs> that'd be great <laughs> Oh, fun fun what's the best to focus on while meditating your breath nothing thoughts a breath is amazing but breath when you start focusing on your breath you are focusing on your breath so that is taking um, that is taking energy to do that right sometimes it's best just to go into neutral and let the body do what it's doing and let the mind wander right other times when you're meditating if you're doing stretches or exercises it's best to do the meditation focus on the motion right so it really depends i've done uh, i've done sort of those three breathing uh, staying still and letting the mind wander and exercise meditation like really slow motion just focusing on the movement uh, dr p chicho collective meditation stream coming okay we do we do let's further discuss this on discord okay cool 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 yeah, head up Elder God uh, if you guys need uh, exercise uh, advice. Uh, 
someone who does some of the stuff he does uh, knows the body well, right? This is not gonna focus. Free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. I like this bot. Good bot. Autumn Olive teasing. Cheryl, have you hit up Autumn Olives? Have you picked some? Best financial advice, stay healthy. Eat well. Right? Look at a Barney Chicho. I found that when you add music to your meditation, it can paint a, a scenario for where your mind should wander. Yeah. Yeah. It's also great not having any music at all. All right silence and darkness are pretty good <laughs> we won't do we won't do a silent darkness live stream though we'll we'll have some lighting <laughs> maybe maybe our first live stream will be just black <laughs> screen <laughs> and nothing <laughs> oh you have cheryl yummy yummy silence is powerful silence is super powerful silence is is amazing amazing the music of your mind and your thoughts where they take you without any external uh pressures influences is nothing else touches that really snuffy i think that people like me get caught up so much in the how that we forget what the practice is truly meant for oh hey regarding meditation uh snuffy cheryl chicho have you ever tried one of the salt float isolation tanks yeah yeah i've tried it twice i think um i didn't you know i i don't mind it but i didn't like it um uh, first of all i um i didn't like that it was i know the water goes through filters and stuff like this but i didn't like it that you know everybody gets in there like i didn't like the communal aspect of it well meanwhile i love hot tubs or i used to love going into hot tubs at community center and stuff like this uh, so i didn't like the hygiene aspect of it that's one way of saying it i guess the, or lack of the hygiene aspect of it i wouldn't mind having a flotation tank just for myself and my partner and <laughs> we do every day right um, the other aspect i didn't like is um, the uh, elitist aspect of it to a certain degree uh, it was i don't know it, it wasn't my thing even though i love water i love floating uh, I used to live in a place where we had an indoor pool and there were times where I would go to the pool and put on a life jacket and go in the middle of the pool where it's deep and I would just float in the pool for an hour, an hour and a half. I would float to a level where if I moved my finger, the heat from my body had, had heated up the water temperature around me but as soon as i move my finger i would feel cold because a little bit past my the little layer of heated water was cold right i enjoy dr p says i enjoy acupuncture it can be intense though yeah i, I like acupuncture too i'd like uh fascia massage if you if you find someone that can manipulate your fascia it's very gentle it's uh or it can be very gentle it can also be painful as well but fascia is a layer of basically skin that we have that surrounds our muscles and stuff like this and fascia work is very powerful it gets the energy flowing right uh, so fascia work is amazing 
any ever try uh anybody ever try kilonic irrigation spelling <laughs> are you laughing what is that thing <laughs> oh my god i don't trust you <laughs> what is that thing cheryl dr p a friend recently recommended it but i had the same uh caution now i'm a little anxious about it now acupuncture cheryl it could be amazing i've had it and i've had acupuncture uh where they do electrodes they put electrodes and they send current i'm not sure how it felt amazing i don't know if i would do it uh, too often but it felt cool oh god i have wanted to try it but i'm not sure i could deal with the tubes is is, is the clonic ir irrigation the anima power animal thing that they do i've had friends that do it uh yeah do you mean colonic <laughs> sure i was laughing <laughs> colon colon irrigation cheryl funny dr b cheryl it's very self-healing i find it allows me to pinpoint where i allow the focus of energy to flow in the physical form to creating healing cool that's acupuncture tubes and water and emptiness yeah i had a friend uh, that did did it on a regular basis and i would turn to him and say look man instead of getting this thing done why don't you eat healthier right he's like oh you know our statue show i can do everything to my body i eat like crap i do this i do this and then i go get this done and i feel great i go dude <laughs> it's not it's not a good way to be right he told me that what they do they put the tube up the chute and then they would roll them over to one side and then roll them over to the other side <laughs> he would feel like he was about to explode and then it would drain him i'm like damn uh, no this is not the way to be that's that's gluttony to the max because i knew you know meanwhile i was to have a spoonful of crab apple butter cheryl to dr b and this is what i'm looking for darn chi has a mind of its own right now yeah difficult right i think the world's going through some major chi problems a lot of people uh, what's uh yin yang yeah i'm trying to find the right terminology for it we're down to the last half a bucket of autumn olives hi worm this is stuff that i picked right from our local uh, neighborhood from uh, someone and the person we picked this from the guy says come on over you pick it up pick pick it every year yummy thank you for the follows gang most recent session i went to it was a collective healing center the intensity in the heart was extreme scary at first i had to really focus on deep breathing cool my itching says 2021 is going to be a good year i hope so i remember a lot of people were glad that 2019 was over and they were looking forward to 2020 and then 2020 hit so the intensity passed through within uh 10 15 minutes dr p yeah Ah, verbal guidance.
This crab apple butter is addictive. Oh my God, I've gone through all my snacks already. Okay, we'll save a spoonful for later. I went through all my snacks. Hey, Chicho, hey, Worm. How are you doing? Your eaching said very strange things about 2020. Cool. 2021 is going to be interesting here. I understand them now. Dr. P, once it is over, it is a huge relief for sure. So it's almost like a fungi journey, Dr. P. Cheryl, yes. It needs to be personal for sure. Thanks for the info. I appreciate it. Yeah. Cool. And that's one thing. Um, the other form of meditation, of course, is entheogens, right? We got a Barney's. I remember one time I took meditation session I had with a psychical therapist who's also a spiritual enthusiast sat down with me in his house he set two yoga mats and basically gave me a whole intro introduction to meditation very cool we can Bernie's cool dr. P indeed but more in the physical body I feel the fungi gets me out of the body uh, the fungi for me, it really depends. Sometimes it's very physical. It, you feel everything in your body and you need to work it out, right? Crab apple butter worm. Yeah, I'm doing well. Thanks. Hope you are as well. Indeed. Indeed. Enjoying our chill night. Enjoying the snacks. Enjoying the conversation. Acupuncture takes me deep into the physical form rather than the spiritual form. Yeah, I've had acupuncture where I totally passed out on the table, like just drooled, like face down and needles in. And an hour later, I feel the guy taking the needles out and I totally passed out. I was drooling. It was crazy. It was phenomenal. Physical therapist. Oh, okay. Physical therapist. Cool, cool, cool. Psych psychical therapist. I thought he meant like psychologist therapist or something. It said I would take a take an inner journey of discovery while weird man watches on. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, wild man watches on. <laughs> I was gonna weird man watches on. <laughs> Maybe the wild man is you. You're going to take a spiritual journey, inner journey. Dr. P, yeah, I see that as well. But I usually do. I have a heavy fast before fungi. So much, uh, so not much to process there. Ah, okay. Yeah, and I've done two, uh, three-day fast before fungi. Uh, powerful. Dr. P, haven't had IQ like that before sounds good oh you've never have yeah yeah it was amazing like literally instant knockout right but warning you are susceptible to suggestions okay and I this person that did this to me right knocked me out uh, I didn't go back to him after that session because knocked me out when I went to the counter and I was in a haze. Like I was like so open to s suggestion manipulation. I guess you can think about it that way. And I went to the counter to pay and the guy goes, yeah, that, that. and you're going to need some vitamins. And then he put these vitamins in front of me to buy. And I was like, and I knew I didn't want these. And I knew I'm not going to use these. And then he put these, yes, this, this, this. And I went, okay. And I paid for them and I walked out with a bag full of vitamins. I was like, what the hell? I sat in the car and I was like, what? I felt so scammed, right? My body felt very relaxed, but this guy knew exactly what he was doing, right? So I realized that acupuncture can be extremely powerful, right? I've had acupuncture after that as well, but 
uh, now my guard is up a little bit sure oh, dr pichicho mind if i hit you both up with questions once i find a decent local practitioner for sure uh sure i haven't had very i've had uh, some but i haven't had very much uh dr p would make sense hypnotic hypnotic right and this is the one time where i understood where people say we were hypnotized we knew what was happening but we couldn't prevent ourselves from doing what the hypnosis told us to do right it was a very surreal very surreal we can about it oh hey chicho a quick question when it comes to gpa in college how important can that uh, apply to you in the interviewing aspect of the job world in the job world it, it depends right it depends they probably look at your gpa um if they're serious about it before the interview anyway so they're not going to ask you the gpa matters a lot if you're going to go to post-secondary education right if you're going to apply to higher level as well getting masters getting your phd then that matters right when you're applying for a job most real life places real world jobs you're going to apply they know the academics is just academics they whoever you're hiring out of a university you have to train them right you just need them to uh, be wise not book smart but wise be able to adapt right so most places that's what they would look for right free assange free assange free assange oh my god i just watched 1984 i'm repeating in my head that two plus two equals four <laughs> <laughs> nice dr b something like 60 percent of indi individual neural networks are highly susceptible to hypnotic beta wavelengths really cool 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 yeah really i and i told myself after that experience that i would never ever put myself in that situation again uh with someone that and that was uh, the second time i had seen this person Right. the first time it was good so i went back the second time i've seen this person and uh, i'm more aware of it now it's it's like anything gang uh once you get scammed you become aware of the scam right that's why it's important to fail in life to be able to succeed well in life right anybody that says they've never made a mistake they've never failed they've never done anything wrong they're lying or they've never tried to do anything right they've never pushed themselves and uh you know if you're hiring someone you don't want to hire anyone like that if you're working with someone you don't want to work with anyone like that and if you're friends with someone like that then it's going to be a pretty boring life right we can have barneys so if i want or they're lying through their teeth and you don't want to be with liars anyway right we're gonna barneys so if i want get a moderate gpa that is acceptable for graduation but not enough to go do a semester masters with do i have to redo my degree uh i don't think so like for me look this is what i ended up doing we're kind of barneys i did well in the courses that i cared about and the courses i managed my my schooling my education right i didn't sacrifice everything to make sure all my grades were above 80 percent or 85 percent or whatever you know if i was in in the a category right because i wanted to experience life as well so i did well on the courses that i cared about and the courses that were fillers or mandatory that i wasn't interested in i did okay and some of them i did really well and some of them i did poorly in but i made sure i passed i got my grades and that was it right uh, manage your workload see what you want out of life if you're going to go to post-secondary education or um a master's degree and phd you need a high gpa or you need to hook up with a professor that's going to accept you right the eddie g i was wrong once <laughs> cheryl we can have these the orgs I work with are much more uh, interested in experience and not necessarily paid 
but volunteer, etc. A demonstration of commitment to the industry work, if that makes sense. Yeah, and Cheryl's saying the right thing, right? A wisdom is important. Experience is important. If you're walking, like if I'm, if I'm gonna hire someone and someone comes to me and shows their GPA, it's 100 percent, right? And but they've never worked anywhere, and someone else comes to me and their GPA is or percentage is like 75 percent. And they've got done multiple different projects and they're online they have an online presence they have a website they've they've dabbled in the other fields i'd hire that person with 75 over this guy with 100 percent any day right real life experience goes a long way dr b i have read military unclassified documents of the capabilities of transmitting these wavelengths through the wi-fi modems in households deep down the hole deep down the hole project sphinx dr p link it to us on discord throw it in ethics uh, or psychology or technology throw it in one of those folders project sphinx oh god i can't be hypnotized i went on stage about eight times and i was asked to leave but i got to see my friend act like a chicken <laughs> I have I've seen I've, I've gone to one of those shows and I saw I saw family member being hypnotized. It was interesting. Something along those lines. Operating predominantly on beta wavelengths. Oops, correction. Alpha. Beta is the opposite. Beta is the opposite. Dr. P link us up on Discord. We get a Barney Cheryl. Yeah. I'm in the medical engineering field. Wow, wow, wow. Within my uh, courses of theory. I'm not good at, but when it comes comes to hands-on courses and experience, I easily get B's and A's for that. Cool. That's good with Ken Barney's, right? That will be huge, especially if you can get a hands-on internship. Yeah. Medical Chicho, not oh mechanical met thank you for the correction. We can mechanical chicho not medical mechanical cool 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 mechanical hands-on would be amazing anything hands-on is amazing theoretical what was the courses of the theory like for me just to let you know i initially i went to uh one university for geophysics but they were really pushing theoretical geophysics a lot of mathematics and theories and stuff like this and that's not what i wanted to go to go in so i changed universities went to a different university where it's more applied geophysics and that i thrived in so for me i'm i'm with um on your uh sort of on your level we can have barney's uh the way you you are uh going through your education hands-on loved theory not so much right dr p Jose Silva, Jose Silva, I know Jose Silva has a course on these states of mind. I know the name Jose Silva. I might have looked into the guy a long time ago. If it's the same person I'm thinking of. Cool. Interesting. Fun. What a nice chill night, gang. What do we call this? Are we talking about uh, personal finance? personal well-being uh, uh, self-improvement what should we what should we what should we put the title when we upload this video on uh, BitChute and YouTube personal finance self-improvement meditation <laughs> yeah probably Dr. P says we can have Barney's for me it's always midterms and standardizing tests that I'm not good at uh, but when it comes to labs and research projects, I'm always a stem. Cool. Cool. I like certain labs for sure. Dr. P. Jose Silva's Ultra Mind ESP system. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> Elder God to Dr. P. I'm not an alpha alpha male though. More omega. <laughs> Beam bags, nascent uh, 69. Laugh out loud. Salt sugar. <laughs> Is that BC warrior hilarious? Omega level. 
you're like an omega level mutant oh god if you're doing a thousand kicks a day jabez that's serious business open talk a discussion improving and suggestion suggestion life choices and new hobbies dude fantastic i'm gonna copy that doink i'm gonna open this hopefully we won't lose the stream i'm gonna put this in here hopefully i won't oh i don't want it there i want it here doink Doosh. Doosh. now i'm gonna pin this guy Boop. <laughs> thanks weekend of parties i might mess around with a little bit but it sounds good to me sounds good to me it's personal finance but i'm physically an alpha with the soul of a monk haha <laughs> might want to grammatically correct my sentence though uh i'll look at it again but that's a good start that's a good start that's a good start um we got like half an hour left what about the great reset gang <laughs> what's coming <laughs> i'm gonna have my last little spoonful of grab apple butter dr p the beta level the beta level your default level of consciousness when you're awake and alert the alpha level a calm and receptive state experienced during relaxation and light sleep the optimal state for learning growth and self-awareness the alpha level okay the theta level the state of meditation and deep sleep um, enables enhanced introspections self-hypnosis mind body healing and more the delta level the deepest state of unconscious and dreamless sleep cool we must all go through these levels we all go through these levels and hit them up at some point during the day or at least during a week a flying kiwi am i the only one here who's much more theoretically inclined cheryl says no elder god says arg dr p says yes <laughs> Cheryl says no. So Cheryl's with you, uh, a flying kiwi. Uh, she likes theoretical. For me, I like thinking about possibilities. But when it comes to doing theories, proofs, in mathematical specifically, I'm not very good at. I live in the alpha state. I never reach delta, though. The deepest state of unconsciousness and dreamless sleep cool zare how you doing yo how are you You're doing well brother thank you i hope you're doing well as well how's the la life hope you're keeping nice and chill enjoying your time with your girl if you're still together hope the family's doing well zare chicho oh wait my no was regarding great reset oh great reset no yeah no great reset the great reset is only going to benefit the top one percent all right so the flying kiwi looks like you're the only one uh, theoretically inclined here maybe <laughs> no one's jumping in to say say they're in with you a flying kiwi dr p do you know if there's a connection between REM, non-REM sleep, and these brain levels? I'm assuming uh, non-REM sleep would be the... Uh, Dr. Pew should chime in, but I'm assuming the non-REM sleep would be the delta level. Is that correct? I'm more of a constructivist. Killator says... Dr. P, flying, uh, Dr. Fee to Kiwi. I'm sure there is, there is. however, not well versed. Hmm. Elder God, I punched a reset enforcer today. <laughs> is this what we're not going to talk about that happened in Nottingham? <laughs> a flying Kiwi. <laughs> well, to each their own. Yeah, to each their own. That's That's more of a, what level is that? I think that's more of a beta level elder god. <laughs> 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 
Dr. P, I'm learning myself. It is very much like a muscle being able to train the mind to enter and exit these different levels at will. Very cool. Jingle Bells, how are you doing? Welcome to a live stream. Chicho, hope all is well from East Coast, United States, Western Massachusetts, just enjoying the ride and reminding people that's all it is. Salutations from the West Coast of Canada, brother. I hope the ride treats you well, and I hope uh, more of your friends and family come and join you on the ride. Huge respect to Bill Hicks for introducing that philosophy into our lives. We can have Barney's. All right, Chicho. I'm going to hang up the beanie and uh, put on the sleeping cap. Would like to wish you a good evening. You as well. We can have Barney's. Thank you for popping in. I hope you have fantastic dreams. And thank you for the conversations. Zare, it's good, man. Same weather every day in California. Just had a week off work. Surfed a lot. Very nice. My girl says hi. How are things up your way? Hi back to your girl. As for how things are up here, chilly or rainy. It's pretty, it's, it's gotten colder here. It's windy. It's uh, rainy. But it's fall. The colors, uh, well, the colors of the leaves are sort of disappearing now but we have beautiful colors kick in um, i like this time of year it's it's a little stormy and chaotic um, i do miss the sun so send some our way and if you miss the rain i'll send some your way right let's do a little exchange dr p i am uh i am tested with uh electrodes i have a natural ten tendency for it but the tricky part is staying in a selected level regardless of the setting then you become a guru master no we get a barney's we get a barney's are you intelligent blueberry is he i think he had to change a name the god will remember right i don't know masters are born that way um no i disagree i disagree that masters are born masters savants yes but masters no i think you can become a master in <clears throat> whatever you want to become a master in oh my god i remember everything zara I'll figure a way to bottle some sun for you. I definitely <clears throat> miss the rain. I'll start collecting some seashells from down here and I'll send them to you. Haha, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Cali, Cali. I do miss the energy of Cali. I do. A flying kiwi, Chicho. What fascinates you about geophysics? Um, it, it's, 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 it was an amazing mix of using high-end technology being uh, in nature processing data having access to as good a computer as you could get at the time right to process data it was a good mix of doing field work solo work and office work as well as writing reports it was a very holistic career to be in i learned a lot from it right um the way i went into geophysics I'll, here let me, let me tell you why i got into geophysics i was sitting in geology class at the time i think it was either geology 12 in high school geology 12 or earth science 11 and i had a really good teacher earth science 11 and geology 12 classes same guy fantastic teacher right and he started talking about geology and he said geophysics right and i was like geophysics what is geophysics and geophysicists basically use instruments to find out non-intrusive methods mostly non-intrusive methods to find out what's on in the ground right but at the time i didn't know that right so i put up my hand i said what's the difference between geolo geologists and a geophysicist like i don't get it and he goes okay here i'll and he says this is the analogy 
you can think about he goes geologists know where oil should be geophysicists know how to find it so i went well i want to know how to find it i want hands-on so i went to the realm of geophysics one of the reasons was i like physics and i like mathematics right so i would rather be the one that can do something instead of the one that knows how something should be right rich af in real life hey man i found bitcoin uh in 2000 and i'm now a multi <laughs> this is like a spam thing <laughs> let's check it out i took the last four years off from my career and just played video games and smoke weed and all the way bitcoin i want to get back to work and become productive again goal is to restart my life as a software developer since that's my oh it's not uh, the more conductive to who i am as a introvert seeker how do i ex explain my four-year break on my resume late 30s okay sorry if i read that initially i thought it was a spam because this is sort of a comment that we get because youtube has dropped the ball so there's lots of spam comments coming on youtube and a lot of them start off there's two different types of comments that we're getting a lot right now people pushing cryptocurrencies oh i did this and bought this blah 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 and the other one is uh love you like girls spam bots and stuff like this just so you know you want to get into uh, software developing how do you explain your four-year break you tell them exactly what happened especially if you're getting into software developing you tell them in 2012 you started looking into blockchain technology cryptocurrencies you realized that it was revolutionary right that it offered huge opportunity and you delved into bitcoin okay delved into cryptocurrencies and for the last four years you've made sure you're financially independent okay and you learned a lot from dealing with blockchain technology now you want to expand your knowledge and you want to get into software development right if i was a software company i hire your ass right away because you know f blockchain technology that's what i would do right tell them the truth if you're proud of what you did uh, and you learned a lot from that experience even if you failed tell them the truth that's experience that's knowledge dr b likewise more in common than you, than you may know no troll okay sorry rich if i read it as a troll thing i'm i'm being a little jaded uh trying to do clear up the spams on on youtube spam comments on youtube the flying kiwi would you say your work in geophysics was more on the computational physics side of things then computational physics um no it was very hands-on my main part of geophysics work was taking the instruments to the field collecting good data and i collected some kick-ass data i collected some phenomenal data i'm i'm one of the best data collectors out there right i'm very meticulous in how i set things up and fine-tune the instruments and stuff like this right i love data processing i love interpreting the data so my whole thing was there i didn't do too much uh computational we did i ran filters but i ran we usually ran the filters um on the data sets through software right so i could massage the data right uh to uh, one of the jokes is uh, tell the geophysicists what you want the data to look like and we can make it look that way right but i was more honest than that cosmic visions ah, yes. toes is this you again welcome back by the way rich yeah it reads like a big copy paste i understand no worries ah yes toes was unkilled toes was unkilled <laughs> cosmic vision toes is back <laughs> hilarious i think is this it i love cute i love cute girls toys but yeah I hear you. oh is this a conversation it's not toes then oh no the best thing i can think 
is uh, to say I was a crypto trader. Just say, you don't have to say crypto trader. You can just say, I, I focused my attention on cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology for four years. And uh, I learned a lot, built some assets, uh, made a lot of connections, understand the technology well, and I want to expand my knowledge. Clip what he just told you. Perfect. Ding Bobber, how are you doing? Chicho, how has the stream been going so far? Fantastic, Ding Bobber. Just popping in. Have you heard of the big reset coming from the World Economic Forum? Yeah. I've been I've mentioned it like two or three times already, but no one's we're not going in that direction. <laughs> Cosmic mission. It is toes, sadly. Cosmic mission, are you toes? Seriously, are you toes? That makes me happy that you're back. <laughs> I love Right or left, right. Ah, that's great. Right, hard, left, right, hard, right. Fun. What exactly is cryptocurrencies? And do you think people can actually get rich off of Bitcoin? People have already gotten rich off cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin and different types of currencies, blockchain technology. And uh, what are cryptocurrencies? I have a cryptocurrency playlist cosmic uh vision toes don't lie the toes don't lie <laughs> we're gonna call you cosmic vision from the cosmic vision i have a cryptocurrency playlist on youtube look at those videos i i laid down the work for that specifically to explain what cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology is in a way that people can appreciate how they're going to play out in our lives okay uh, i didn't get into the technicals of it right i got into the application aspect of it what does this mean to our world forget about the technical i, I don't understand the hardcore technical of it right i know a little bit but i decided i don't want to know the technical i'm more applied how is this going to roll out in the world right look into it uh, they're really good like really those cryptocurrency and personal finance videos i put out they're fantastic man okay i'm tooting my own horn but it took a lot of work to put those out a lot of thought a lot of meditation and uh they're worth checking out if uh, you want to get an introduction to them ding bobber can you tell me what it means is my personal debt totally gone or just a government that aha uh -huh, that's the kicker ding bobber the great reset could be this they they, they really we don't know right because a the catchphrase they're throwing out there right the the great reset could be this all the majority of governments in the world are bankrupt uh, a lot of corporations are leveraged to the tilt right they, they can't make their debt obligation a lot of people are leveraged to the tilt they can't make their debt obligations uh social security is done like they're not getting enough they're, the whole system's whack right so what the western governments might do they might come out and say okay we're writing off all the country's debts and we're rolling those over into perpetual bonds or something like this where no one can collect the total amount of the bonds that they have we're just going to pay them the interest right and then they're going to flood the system with money right and this is what it's really doing they're going to write off all their debts flood the system with money if you have debt they might decide to write off your debt but that's a permanent bankruptcy where you won't be able to acquire any real assets for a very very long time so become a, you become a slave to the system really because as they said in the great reset you will own nothing and you will be happy right that's what their selling point is you will own nothing but you will be happy personally i i'm i'm not going into huge debt because i don't know what they're going to do right so make sure you don't get caught up in their net right because they're casting a gigantic net and a lot of people are going to get screwed over it right uh, 
be careful being in government bonds or anything like this. Uh, they they want to, and they they're going to consolidate a lot of assets, right? They might actually bring in certain forms of currency to consolidate a basket of currencies into this new currency. So the old currency will be a write-off. You'll have to exchange all your old currency to this new currency. Who knows what the exchange rate might be? It's it's basically the government's coming out and saying the world's bankrupt or they're bankrupt and they're gonna wipe the wipe the books clean so all those billionaires and trillionaires and millionaires that you know they borrowed money up the yin yang and livers to the tilt and all own all these things oh they don't own anything but what's going to happen with all those properties is the government going to own all those now possibly right then what you have is complete centralization of everything right it's dangerous don't play the game make sure you're stable enough because this could usher in a great depression by the way or it could usher in a great um, um, inflationary period right because they're just going to give money print money and just give it to everyone everyone's debt's white clean here's a whole bunch of money what are people going to do with that money they're going to buy things they're going to party their asses off for how long right and then the whole system is going to come grind crashing down right we really don't know how this is going to work out but the main purpose of this great reset is to do another round of huge wealth transfer from the bottom up and to completely wipe out the middle class so there's going to be uber rich trillionaires there's going to be an order of magnitude more billionaires and millionaires middle class gone everybody else impoverished dependent on universal basic income for sustenance right to be able to live and if you're going to be dependent on universal basic income money coming in from the government to live your life then what the government's going to do if they want you to take a vaccine and you say i don't want to take a vaccine they'll say okay we're going to cut your universal basic income we're going to cut your money if you're not going to take the vaccine that we're saying you should be taking then you don't get no money so now you're homeless right you don't have food you don't have shelter because you refuse to take their vaccine and you didn't set yourself up in a way where you could take care of yourself you were dependent on the state to take care of you that's the great reset the great reset is a transfer of wealth from everybody else to the top and giving the top the power to rule over everybody else in the bottom right be careful be careful that german guy running the reset is a bond villain yep yes okay thank you very much do you expect me to consent uh, dr b ding bobber you don't actually have debt well it's all debt treasury direct account straw man security party creditors except for value house joint resolution 192 elder god no mr bond i expect you to vaccine <laughs> yeah vocalist i miss your thoughts on the great reset is it bs no it's not bs the it, it is actually part of the plan elder god i think 70 percent of the reset backers are just pilot fish <laughs> free assange free assange free assange dr p being the owner causes liabilities to the operator own operator own nothing control everything yeah whoa guy chicho chaling you said this will usher in a great depression you think everyone wants that to happen Holmes Mira many cholos want the market to go down because it benefits them essay <laughs> you're talking I swear you're talking like SPM and I love it uh, I just have to get in the right mindset to read it right uh they the higher up they don't care if the world goes into the great depression right what's what's it to them if there are food lines uh for blocks and blocks what's it to them if you don't own a house 
They own a castle. They own private jets. What's it to them if one country goes down? They just fly to another country or to their own private islands, right? You will own nothing and you'll be happy. I have a string of words I can use in this platform. <laughs> okay, Chicho, Chaling. If the market goes down, you think there ain't any cholos that want to buy the stocks at a low price? There's a saying in the in, in Wall Street: "Be careful catching a falling knife." And I didn't say the stock market is going to go down. The stock market might go double, right? They wipe out the debt right their own debts the debts that they've created to buy all the assets right they wipe out their own debts now they got a ton of money right they got credit up the yin yang and then they go and buy everything up what's the first thing they're going to do they're going to buy their stocks they've been doing that for 10 15 years right they back buy back their own stocks and their shares go from a hundred to a thousand there you go the stock market went up the cholos missed out right chicho if that's the case what the fuck ding bobber hi intra black 98 ding bobber chicho my belief system is keeping me sane right now good and faith good the enemy can cut me with their words shoot me with their lies but just like life i'll rise maya angelo good maya angelo cool 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 when there's a blood on the streets buy property haha <laughs> indeed that's another saying by the way okay be a what do you call it uh, uh contrarian right cheech don't matter how many knives or falling knife or bouncing that cat mira in in 2009 home stock market went up at my bureau essay many of my homey boys buy stock homes and my cardinals are happy about it cool yeah there's a bottom there's always a bottom right there's always a bottom where is the bottom where is the top the question is do you want to be in this system do you want to be invested in the system do you think that the system whatever system you believe in deserves your support your energy your funds deserves to have longevity right do you want the system to continue the way it is or do you want to work on building a new system for me i'm into the new systems right to a certain degree to a certain degree gang should we call the stream <laughs> dr v's laughing one guy's laughing hilarious gang let's call the stream we're almost up to two hours tomorrow morning we'll we're doing uh relationships from 10 a.m to 12 p.m right morning stream talking about relationships awesome elder god tomorrow the clown gives us a Christmas tier system for all the people's safety. Yeah, UK lockdown rules. Ding Baba Chicho. When this life is done, I intend to go on to either uh, Ether Earth in 5D, where none of these problems exist because all of these demons have been uh, divinely dealt with, or I'm going to another planet in another dimension where there is no war or famine. Then when you find it send me a send me an invitation thing bobber i'll come running right now i'm not coming back to this good idea it has been an amazing ride but it is painful as well the flying kiwi okay chicho i've got to get to sleep now good stream today though thanks my pleasure kiwi enjoy your sleep sweet dreams whoa guy chicho if you want to understand my accent homes you need to watch blood in blood out yeah chicano <laughs> good night all good night all it's like spm and i blood in blood out is fantastic by the way i've seen it at least three times great movie great movie great movie bless homes bless homes gang thank you for being here if you want to know what this is about i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chicho 
I don't put anything behind paywalls. Everything's Creative Commons. Share, share, like. And if you follow this work, you like this work, and if you think this work uh, deserves your support, Patreon is a fantastic way to support this project. And for those of you who've been supporting this work on Patreon, thank you very much for the support, gang. We are live streaming on Twitch. If you want to participate in the chat, Twitch is where you want to be at. Twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live. C-H-Y-C-H-O-L-I-V-E. And gang, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the bits. And thank you for the discussions. Fantastic streams. Fantastic streams, Cheryl. Thanks, Chicho. My pleasure. And all indeed. Well, guy, Chicho, you know what's ironic, Holmes? Those radical BLM Antifa that goes to prison will have to join a gang of prison. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. The whole, the whole thing's insane. I do announce these streams 30 minutes before we go live on Parlor, LOVK Minds, Gab, and Twitter. And you can follow the work there. And we do have a Discord page where you can join and uh, share information, uh, discuss things that you want to discuss. Kebabs, how are you doing, brother? And the link will be in the description of this video. We will be uploading the audio for the stream on soundcloud.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O, as a podcast, and it should be available on your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify and iTunes. And we will be uploading the stream to both BitChute and YouTube. And if you're on those platforms, you can uh, support this work by liking, sharing, commenting. Uh, and if you're on YouTube, you can support this work by joining YouTube membership. And for those of you who've joined YouTube membership or supporting this work uh, in that format, thank you very much for the support, gang. Aside from that, if you can make it tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., we talk about relationships, gang. I hope you have a fantastic evening or a fantastic morning if you're on the other side of the world. Bye, everyone.